All right, YouTube friends and family, this has uh, been a long coming project. This is uh, stage one. Uh, this is our, our brew command center, so to speak. Um, this, this control box is going to be a fully automated control center for our home brewery. Um, this has been built by Matt Thomas and uh, Jim LaValle. So here's a quick rundown, just a really quick look at uh, the switches, what some of this stuff does and what it looks like, and then we'll show you the inside of the box as well. So here we go. Quick little boot up. Now the, the PIDs at the bottom, you can see, you can see the PIDs down here. Um, these are the uh, thermocouples that are hooked up to the, uh, the kegs, uh, the boil kettle, the mash tun, the hot liquor tank, and then our chiller. Um, so we will have outputs for those. Right now they're all basically the same just because there's, there's no liquid in anything uh, at this point. But we're going to quick run through some of the switches and uh, let you see what it looks like. Yeah, currently you can see that the, the lower lights on the bottom are all red. Uh, that just tells us that the uh, electronic valves that's going to control flow are closed. And then as the switches light up, these will change to green, uh, which means the flow is opening up. And there's also a couple pumps that will be um, highlighted later with some other um, decals, so to speak, um, that will light green as well. So here we go. Here's our pump one, pump two. And then these next series will be uh, one through six will be valves. And this is all the water in right there. Now that would be beer control or work control to be more technical. And a little signature for Victor Wooten in the background. And that LED that just popped on, those are the element LEDs. Those are the on-off indicators just to let us know that um, Right now everything has been put on manually, but when it's in full auto, uh, these LEDs will also um, light this way to let us know if it's open or it's on, depending on what the, uh, what the particular unit is. And this is going into auto, so everything goes green up top by the switch. And they're just coming back to close because there's no program running that's calling for those valves or pumps to be on or open. So that's that's what you can see. We're going to get our fingertips on uh, one of the uh, thermocouples real quick and just show you how the like the temp probes can go up here. Uh, we'll use the chiller one, which is all the way to the left. And just by touching it with our finger, you can see that that temp's starting to climb. And that'll do the same all the way across the board as we get, you know, hot water or whatever in there. So we're just going to pop these switches off real quick and we'll open up the panel and give you a quick look inside to see what everything looks like. So here we go. Nice and fancy in the box. Uh, a couple LED strips that are, that are switch actuated right here so when the door opens those will come on and off. This is the back of the panel door. These are the these are the temp controllers that you were looking at a little bit earlier, and then just some of the back off of that, make it a little clearer. Just some of the quick uh, wiring. So that's the main display that you saw on the front and all those little switches that you saw that was controlling everything that particular stuff has got six terminals on each one I'm trying to back out and get a clear picture of that so that just does all the different positions LEDs and just some more I'm going to take a quick look this is the, uh, the main brains of the brew controller system um, that is brew controller that is the main driving force for this and 
These are the relays. Uh, these also attach to most of the switches that you are, you've seen. And uh, that turns everything on and off. And then one of our last things, um, these here control the elements. These are the little solid state relays. It's a main breaker system that kills the power coming in. And these are all just our buses and fuses and everything else. And again, just a quick look at that switch. And then those lights go off. Door opens, lights come on. Fancy, fancy. Some nice steel braiding. This, this stuff is just stainless steel braid covering all the wires going down all the pumps and switches and valves and all that stuff. Still got a little bit of work left to do. Got some uh, pressure switches that we're going to wire in that'll give us volumes. And then um, what we'll do, end up doing is programming the PIDs to alternate between temp and uh, volume for each one of those specific things. The chiller itself won't have a volume because it'll be a constant flow. But the, uh, the KTL, the kettle, the mash tun, and the hot liquor tank will also they'll cycle back and forth between temp and volume, which will be pretty sharp. So at any given time, we'll know exactly how much is in there and what the temp is. So that's all for now. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. Cheers.